Our guest today on the World City Summit Mayoral Dialogues is His Excellency Dawood Abdulrahman Al Hajri. He's the Director General of the Dubai Municipality. His Excellency has been Director General since 2018. His multiple missions, including supervising the urban plan of the Emirate of Dubai, implementing policies relating to building and construction systems, focusing on sustainability at municipal fields and urban heritage projects. His Excellency is a distinguished engineer and an excellent public service. Welcome, Your Excellency, to this mayoral dialogue. I'd like to begin, Your Excellency, with the big question, if we may. Why and how did you become Director General of the Dubai Municipality? And what motivates you for this very important role? Uh, well, thank you for the introduction. Being an urban planner, a planner in Dubai offers a great opportunity to gain extensive and multidisciplinary uh, ex, uh, experience covering all aspects of the city management and different development chain levels. I was very lucky that uh, when I have joined in 1993, that I have I was a part of um, the, the the first urban plan um, uh, structure plan for myself. It was the fourth one uh, of the Dubai Emirate. I was part uh, of of that, uh, that that plan uh, that gave me a big experience how uh, urban plan a structural plan goes and gets implemented and gets um, uh, prepared in a city a city a dynamic city uh, such as dubai as one of the city leaders my main inspiration in the vision set by his highness sheikh mohammed bin rashid al maktoum the vice president and the prime minister of the united arab emirates and the ruler of dubai for making Dubai the best city for living, a competitive, sustainable, and prosperous city that allows people to live full and productive life, making them feel happy, healthy, and safe. This vision has been translated into the Dubai 2040 master plan, the structure plan, as a roadmap for ambitious targets that Dubai municipality, among other governmental uh, departments will be committed to uh, to achieve. Thank you very much, Your Excellency. It's such a dynamic environment in which you're working. And the Dubai 2040 plan that you've just mentioned is an inspiring document uh, charting how Dubai can grow and become more sustainable at the same time. So it's very interesting. Now, when we think about the last year and a half and the global pandemic, how has Dubai proved to be resilient and agile during this pandemic period? What innovations, as well as this wonderful new plan, have already occurred? At the time of the starting of this pandemic that had the world, the whole world, Dubai municipality uh, capitalized its capabilities, financial, human resources, and smart technologies in collaboration with all strategic partners to ensure the health and safety community members against COVID-19 pandemic through implementing the utmost prevent, uh, preventive and uh, protective uh, measure, measures. We have activated our emergency crisis and disaster management plan to oversee, evaluate potential risk and threats and uh, toward uh, the pandemic and to avoid any business economy, businesses or econo uh, and interruption of uh, our economy before. During and post lockdown period, and utilized response plan to contain the pandemic and minimizing the virus spread. We have been certified by the BSI during 2021 as the first municipality globally to have such type of certificate for a scope of management system with relation to recommendation and guidance of the mentioned ISO for COVID-19 aspect. Such success contributed in ranking uh, UAA number 11, TAR number one, on the Global Safety Ranking uh, Report. Dubai Municipality has been recognized also by the British Safety Council and, uh, and awarded the first joint winner of the 2021 uh, as a result of ongoing and the extra mile protect our staff, supply chain, and wider community against any crisis faced in, in, in 2020. Can we ask then about the next two years, if we may? 
what do you think will be the more important medium term adaptations that you in the city of Dubai will make to address the disruption over the next 24 months? How, how will Dubai be different after the pandemic? Well, uh, the United Arab Emirates current vision focuses on the post COVID-19 pandemic, which is based on a model that can cope with the current situation and reduce negative consequences until they are eliminated, uh, hopefully successfully. This model will create new opportunities, adapt to huge geoeconomic changes and preserve no, uh, noble values and high principles. Dubai municipalities post COVID-19 uh, prioritizes align with the priority, uh, priorities of the United Arab Emirates and the government of Dubai announced by His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid, which includes six main sectors, health, education, economy, food security, society, uh, and the government. Uh, developing them and covering all requirements of uh, the current stages within uh, future vision requires mobilization of best efforts, experiences, and um, uh, uh, mentalities to achieve um, uh, a coherent government work system uh, with action plans, specific goals, current and future targets. Now, one of the priorities you've already mentioned is sustainability and climate and the future of the planet. This year, the world will convene at COP26 to address the global climate emergency. What is Dubai doing to address the future of the planet itself? Well, uh, Dubai 2040, among other long-term strategies, lays the foundation uh, for a resilient city to allow Dubai to adapt and thrive regardless of the uh, chronic uh, stresses and extreme weather uh, resulting from uh, the climate change. Uh, the plan set a strategy to generate uh, susceptible zones, reduces in a way uh, to replace dense development uh, with more open and green spaces. Uh, to, uh, to, uh, to also reduce greenhouse gases in, uh, 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 imitation. The plan set uh, a people-centric mobility uh, strategy with an ambitious target to achieve 100% increase um, in, 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 in whirling and biking. Uh, transit uh, modes. Uh, Dubai will be uh, a 20-minute city where residents can find all community facilities with a maximum of 20 minutes walking or uh, distance or biking. The public realm strategy also aims to double uh, the green spaces by adding 22 kilometers square, uh, square kilometer of the city parks and recreational areas, bringing substantial improvement to residents' well-being, health, and environmental uh, quality. Also, uh, reducing the urban heat islands. Dubai municipality currently work on a plantation strategy to provide, to, to provide the local and neighborhood streets with shading uh, trees and, and, and proper landscaping. Uh, also, uh, we will continue to celebrate uh, preserving the unique natural environment as an integral part of the Dubai, Dubai's heritage providing value to Dubai's economy and contributing uh, the Emirates uh, resilience. The Dubai 2040 extends the current conservation zone by almost 30% to safeguard the rich biodiversity. The plan also um, uh, follows a green infrastructure approach through adopting a green blue city concept where mm -hmm. stormwater management is aligned uh, with uh, ecolo ecology and urban uh, amenities. Uh, sus a, sustainable, a sustainable waste management strategy is committed to the national agenda, uh, agenda to reduce material converted to landfills from 25% to 75%, hopefully by uh, 2040. The strategy also includes building a new construction and a demolition recycling facilities uh, and uh, um, waste to energy projects and facilities, as Dubai has already started its construction of the biggest waste to energy uh, plant in Dubai, and we're planning uh, to, 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 to extend. Um, finally, Dubai's clean energy strategy of 2050 aims to increase clean 
energy uh, provision, uh, hopefully by 2050. It's really inspiring, Your Excellency. And I think particularly for the other hot cities around the world living in an arid environment, the recognition that uh, the cities in the hottest places can be the ones that innovate the most. Dubai is such a great leader on this agenda. Um, Your Excellency, coming to the final question, can we look forward to five years time beyond the pandemic? What do you, how do you think our cities will be different in five years' time? Well, uh, in the post-pandemic year, I think cities will witness changes and reforms and urban planning norms. Uh, planning, engineering, and public health authorities, I think, will be work together and closely to develop new health, safety, uh, and uh, strategy uh, and sanitary regulations, and will need to continue combine their efforts. Um, based on lesson, uh, lessons learned from the crisis, trends uh, in city reform during the new uh, the next five years will be on four dimensions: density, mobility, smart initiatives, and building design. Given the high population growth rate particularly in our region, managing density will become a priority. Cities, including Dubai, will focus, uh, hopefully, on providing access to services without um, uh, exacerbating disease uh, transmission, with more active mobility options rather than transit modes. Rethinking city uh, density will further support it by uh, expansion in the remote workforce. Um, the coming five years will witness, I think, an acceleration in smart cities initiatives and volume of city level data stream that will uh, encourage governments to work um, uh, in, in a smart uh, of their re regulations and infrastructure. Um, the, I think the next five years will also witness um, a reform in building design. Building reform will focus on higher design specifications and uh, regulations to ensure uh, occupants' health and, and well-being, uh, rethinking workplace design to achieve uh, probably uh, the balance between individual concentration and productive uh, collaboration and large scale adopt, uh, adoption of uh, sensor technologies and health uh, screening device such as uh, the moments in the city spaces. Your Excellency, it's such an exciting vision of the future with intelligent, well-designed, livable and sustainable cities reorganized around human safety and human flourishing. We're very grateful to you. Thank you to His Excellency Dawood Abdulrahman Al-Hajri, Director General of the Dubai Municipality, for joining us on the World City Summit Mayoral Dialogues. Thank you. Thank you all.